everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, True Meter uh, ADM 100 series graphical panel meter, and we're going to be powering the unit up now. So, what you'll see is here's my dimensions of my uh, ADM, and if I uh, scroll down, we'll see on here the wiring diagrams, and basically we have um, as discussed last time, we have four different models, one being the DC version, one being the AC version of the model or of the uh, unit, and then we have the, the two different uh, background, either the white on black or black on white uh, uh, displays itself. So if we look at the wiring diagram itself, we have a single phase, two wire, and if we were to have a, uh, a DC model, which as we, as we do, um, then what we do is we, we bring in the DC here and if we have AC we can go anywhere from 100 to 240 and usually we just bring it through the line down to the unit. Then we have our, our voltage input or our CT input and then we have our rear connections here and then we have a, a reset for a peak hold and then we have our unit here and it shows you our, my terminal strips and the um, the pin connectors on that. So let's just uh, go to my actual unit itself and if I were to turn this around what we'll see is my actual model number is an ADM 100 LN which means that it is the low voltage so it's DC 24 so the part number is located right here. My incoming power supply unit PSU positive and PSU negative come in the first two terminals right here and if we look at our voltage input which is what defaults into this unit we'll bring our voltage in here onto the positive and negative and then our current would be right over here it's indicated by the I and again negative and positive so we'll flip that around and what we're using to power this up is a Rhino DC power supply and so it provides 24 volt to my unit itself. So what I have is I brought back my um, I wired up my unit here with my uh, potentiometer and my 9 volt battery. So with my 9 volt battery I can provide a signal into this unit. So we can stick that battery right here. And now let's just, just let's just power this thing up. And this is the default uh, values that we'll see here. There we go. So there's our display. We're displaying our voltage right now, which is like I said, defaulted. And you see it goes from zero to six hundred. And I can take my uh, pot. And you can see I can increase that pot and we'll go right up to there's two all the way up to my uh, nine volt. So there's the maximum of the pot. So that battery is actually outputting 9.805 volts right now. So it's a, a fully charged battery. So very nice little unit. You can see the display is very nice. Um, so on the um, unit itself, you can uh, bring in voltage or current or frequency. And in our case here, we're just using the voltage. And now the next thing we have to do is we can um, download our software and configure our unit. Right. Now, if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. Give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. You, and when you do, notification will be given to you every time you publish new content to the site. You also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.